Because once you are in your socks, you are connected. It's like a mobile phone without a sync. There won't be a network. So it's like you without the word of God. It's like you without the fellowship of God. There won't be a network between you and God. So what I'm trying to tell you in a nutshell now is that Please put God's word into you because your God's word is your sin. Put God's word into you so that you can have that connectivity, that fellowship with God and do what he has designed you to do in terms of your functionality and your specification because you are representing God on it. Let's bring it back to business now. I told you earlier, I said business, business in business, producing a product is to meet the needs of customers so that customers will be satisfied. So that a product will meet their specification and their quest and their need. Look at God now. God has created you didn't force God to create you. He created you to function in his glory. He created you to represent him on earth. He created you to take dominion over everything that he has produced. Then why are you struggling? Then why are you complaining? Then why are you frustrated? Then why do you think you are inferior among others? Then why do you think others have advantage over you? No, it all depends on how you use the gift that he has given unto you. It all depends on how you perform with the gift he has given unto you. It's how you recognize the ability, the skills, the quality that he has given unto you. So in a nutshell, it will be advisable for you to identify the gift God has given unto you. It's for you to have a relationship with God to be able to exploit that gift that he has given unto you. Then it's for you to be able to treat your fellow man with that unique gift that God has given unto you in terms of making them have an awareness of God, making them have an awareness of why God has created you. And I'm using this medium to tell you that any person on earth that does business with God never bankrupt. And what is his business? Working in accordance according to his word and his instruction the bible is a manual in our life and once you have a manual in anything even your mobile phone has a manual your tv has a manual a car has a car manual you have a manual your manual is the bible once you follow the instruction in the bible once you follow your life manual brother and sister you will never lack so i'm using this video to empower you to take you away from that shell that you are, that you thought is finished. Brother is not finished. If he's finished, you won't be alive. God created you for a reason. Obstacle will come. Problem will come. There are problems to empower you are catapult you to a greater height. But the truth is that you'll be able to do this when you load yourself with the word. You'll be able to do this when you are connected to the source. What is the source that I told you earlier? The word of God. So it's advisable is advisable, is recommended to stay focused on the Word of God, to stay focused on the Word of God and to, to identify who you are and why you are created. Because if you know who you are, you will know how to function, you will know what to do, you will know the reputation and glory that you are, but I'm telling you right now that you are a king and you are a prince because no organization wants to produce any product and allow that product to fail. No company want to produce any product and allow the product to go out there and not to do well because why they have their reputation to protect they have their reputation to protect they have their customer needs to meet talk less of god who have created you that created you and created everything in you don't you see you are too loaded to fail you are too loaded to be disappointed you are too loaded to go astray because why you are representing god when you fail is a disgrace to God because God did not create you to fail. God created you to excel. So please have a rephrase mind over this. And I will use this medium to say thank you because I know this message, I know this video will make a positive impact in your life. It's going to restate your financial boost. It's going to restate your personal boost. It's going to restate your mind psychologically and balance your emotional needs and let you know that you are created for a purpose. You are not designed to fail. You are not designed to be disadvantaged. You are not designed to, to, to go astray. Because one, note, you were born. And you know the process you were born. And you know the process you've lived on this earth. Brother, to this time, or sister to this time, if God have no purpose in your life, you would have never been alive. Go back to your performance circle. Go back to your functionality circle. Go back to your durability. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to your uniqueness. 
because you are unique. You are unique. That features, that functionality God has given unto you makes you unique in this world. You are too unique. It's only your face in this world. It's only you in this world. Your thumbprint is, is only you in this world. You have no reason to fail. And every good thing in this world is too much of one person to have it. That is why I said, no matter the obstacle you must have passed through, no matter the mistake that must have been by having labored against you months or weeks back or all through your life, no matter the family that you are born into, yes, you are here to make a difference because God really loves you and you are the light of the world. And I believe this video will help and transform you. We help and solidify your thinking. We help in repositioning you. We help in putting a change in your life. We help to make you go back to your source. We help you to know that in spite of your sin, in spite of what you think is sin, that God still loves you. You are not forced to be created. You didn't beg to be created. God created you for a reason. Go back to your glory. Go back to your grace. Go back, go back, go back because God loves you. Go back, go back and have a relationship with your God. He loves you. He loves you for who you are. He loves you in spite of your sin. You are created for who you are. So you have to function in that way.